So for the most part, how do common sections on internet publications make you feel? <laughs> like that. Usually they really, really suck. And so we wanted to make something that would make them suck a lot less. Enter Podium. Um, so pretty much the problems that we saw with comment sections is that the core issues get lost because it's just a free-for-all. People are commenting on all sorts of off-topic stuff. Um, Would-be commenters look at the chaos and they're like, I don't even want to deal with that. They don't want to participate. And there's no way to quickly get a pulse on how people feel about the important issues at hand. Um, so our solution is a comment section that actually facilitates debate. So um, this is for publications and writers that take strong positions. This is not for people who are writing clickbait. And uh, it's for publications that want readers to really engage in substantive debates. Um, so the benefits for readers is that you can easily track the pro and con of an argument. So say you read an article about animal rights. You can see exactly how uh, what the pro people feel, what the con people feel. Um, you can participate without feeling like you're just screaming into this abyss. You actually know that there's a set conversation going on, which is really nice. Uh, and the fact that you're sort of um, being made to choose a position means that you actually have to think about what you're saying before you comment. Uh, the benefits for publications is that a publication can instantly, and actually both as a reader and as the writer, you can instantly look in and see what percentage of people are pro and what percentage of people are con. So you can sort of uh, get a pulse on how people feel about all sorts of hot button issues. Uh, as a writer, you can create like a deliberate and meaningful discussion by setting a proposition that people are actually going to debate at the end of your article. And uh, you know, since you're actually adding some structure to it and not just saying, write whatever, you're actually um, more likely to see really engaged commenters. Uh, yeah. And so now we're going to show you guys how it works. Hi. We're going to do some quick um, some screenshots, and then we'll do a live demo um, of what we were able to build. I'm Diane, by the way. Hi, everyone. Um, so here's Podium. This is what the mobile app would look like. We have an iOS developer on our team, and so we went with the mobile option. Um, so when you enter an app, what you would see is a list of trending what we call debaticles. So this can be populated with um, content from any online publication, um, ideally. So here we just pulled a bunch of kind of timely articles as an example. So when you go in, you can choose um, based on the article you're interested in, you tap in. And when you click on the debaticle, you can then read the article. And after you read the article, as you see on the bottom, um, the writer of the article or the publication has then chosen to define a proposition. So this would be a very clear statement. Um, whether or not the publication agrees with it is not kind of, it's not necessarily reflective. It's just to start the conversation. So we chose an example. Hashtag activism is pointless. Very controversial statement, right? Um, gets the blood boiling and everything. So what the reader would then do is they go down and they can choose either agree or disagree with this proposition. So they're then forced to think about where they stand on this statement before they go in and make a comment. After the user goes in and makes a comment, then this is, um, as Maya mentioned, you get a quick indication of the overall conversation. So um, among all of the commenters that have decided to comment and join this debate, where do opinions fall? Um, where do you fall within the larger picture there? Um, yeah. And you get some keywords and more information about the particular article. So uh, as you go in and after you have chosen whether you agree or disagree, you would then input your particular comment. So it could be a point of contention. It could be an argument, um, a particular reason why you chose your position. And so here you could see um, each avatar is surrounded by a different kind of color indicator, blue being agree, red being disagree. Um, and if someone comes in and, for instance, I came in and I read Maya's comment, she says, when we blame Sui Park for not understanding satire, we find ourselves guilty of not understanding hyperbole. She is in agreement with the statement, hashtag activism really sucks. So if I wanted to go in and respond to Maya, um, I had already previously chosen that I also agree with the statement, but I wanted to act a little bit more, um, add a little bit more information. So I would tap on Maya's comment, and the keyboard pops up. Um, and I type in my comment. And as you can see, I am uh, Abe Nye, a combination of you know, the greatest debater of all time and his doppelganger, Bill Nye. 
And there's my comment in response to Maya's. So here you see um, Susan and Oscar have also responded to Maya's particular comment on the proposition. But Susan actually disagrees. She um, does not necessarily think that hashtag activism is stupid. And um, Oscar falls on the same side as Maya and has added additional information. Okay. That's it. Thanks, everyone.